Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central, and today I want to give you a quick tour of Twit, a somewhat new Twitter application to the marketplace. It's actually just version 2.0, but a lot of people have asked me to do a video tour of it just because it costs 99 cents and there's no trial for it, which is kind of a shame, and I'm really disappointed in the developer. I hope they can update this to, you know, put, give a trial so people can try it out. Um, it really ticks me off by the way, when developers do that. Anyways, let's get to the application. It's not too bad. It has some strengths and it has some weaknesses. Whether or not it's the right one for you is going to depend on whether or not you need those features. It loads very fast, so that's definitely a plus for it. It also scrolls very quickly. In fact, it's one of the more smooth applications I've seen for this. It uses the Metro UI and so you also get a lot of wasted space up here, which is sort of a shame. You see maybe two and a half or three tweets per screen, and that's kind of you know a little rough. You have your mentions, messages, favorites, lists, and of course your profile. And as you can see, it goes very quickly, it doesn't stutter, and it scrolls nicely. Under here you have your options, settings, very basic settings, really nothing to talk about. There's no push notifications, but I'll show you what the, you know, quote-unquote killer feature is. Here we'll click on Phil's tweet. So there's actually a couple here. One, it's really nice to be able to scroll through your messages. You can just tap, and it goes very quickly. So you can read them one by one. And, and like I said, look how fast this goes. It's actually really nice. But the real killer feature is this, play audio. Hopefully it'll work this time. Last time I tried it, it didn't work. Anyways, you kind of get the idea there. It's kind of neat. You know, it's not a bad feature to have. It's a unique feature, that's for sure. Whether or not you'll use it, you know, that's up to you. But it is something that's kind of cool. Another one here is you can, of course, favorite or email a link. But it's under retweet. Well, for one, it does landscape, so that's kind of nice, too. Uh, but the other, let me get that back to normal, is you can actually edit your retweets which I know is a big feature for a lot of people. And not many Twitter applications, I don't think any, actually have that available. So that's another plus for this app. But I'll show you some downsides now. Oops, unfortunately I backed up too fast. A little delay there, unfortunately, on the response. Let's see if we could just okay, let it update. There we go. So this is the new tweet screen. So we can go write something new, and of course it should do landscape, and it does, so that's really nice. But what's the downside? Okay, uh, you can see there are no options here, really. There's just send, meaning there's no geolocation option, there's no photo option, there's no contact lookup, you know, all those things that are available in the official Twitter app. Now if you upload photos, you know, that's going to be a pretty... You know, that's a downer, I guess, to, not to have that feature available. So the only thing you can do from this application is just straight up tweet. Um, you know, that's that kind of bothers me. Uh, for some, I can see that's uh, a, a no-go right there. But other than that, you know, it's, like I said, it's not half bad. So the strengths of this application, it's fast. You have the auto voice readback. I would also say you have this ability to uh, quickly scroll through your tweets which is kind of nice, one by one, and the ability to edit uh, the retweets. But the downside is just for actually tweeting, it's not probably the greatest, greatest application out there. Hopefully the developer will add the uh, trial feature in the next version. As of right now, you know, hopefully this will help you decide if you should try it or not. I'd like to see some improvements, including an alternate background, or at least a choice for it, but I don't know. It's not too bad. I'll give it a try for another week or so and let you guys know. So there we go. Take care, everybody.